Hey, what is up guys? This is going to be a video about my settings I'm using for OBS on my 2013 late MacBook Pro running High Sierra. Currently 1013.6. There you go. Retina display. Uh, I'm going to try to go over these settings as quickly as possible. So here we go. Um, the thing that tripped me up the most was uh, properly recording the full screen outscaling or cropping the screen of the MacBook and getting the native resolution and keeping it at uh, what you would think of as the at 2.0. I'll try to go into that in a second and recording this microphone and things like system audio. So got that. Um, let's, so let's go over this like you just Download installed OBS. First opened it. Uh, there's one thing you could do. You could go to this auto configuration wizard. Obviously can't run that while I'm recording a video. Did that. Wasn't really impressed with the settings it gave me. So the first thing I did was create a thing for screencasting. I don't do any streaming. I have no idea about streaming settings. So if you're looking for a streaming thing, go somewhere else. This is about me setting up OBS so I can record YouTube videos. Click this. Click this little plus button. Name your jazz. Go there. Got that going. Um, you're gonna create a little profile. I created a profile. There you go. Scene collection is tied to this. Is going to there and that. And then you can set up sources. As you can see, I have my preview disabled. When I enable this preview, sometimes it displays properly. Sometimes it doesn't. So I just keep it disabled. Um, I'd like to think that it uses a little less resources on my computer when I have that enabled and it, trying to update the screen and record me all at the same time and get that little infinity, crazy infinity effect. I'll just prevent that from happening. Anyways, all right. So first things first, go to scenes. You got your scene. Then you go into your settings over here. Um, this is all pretty standard. Not much going on in there. Like I said, I don't do this. I don't do the streaming. Got this output. So this is the first one, skip the streaming tab, go here, go to recording, set up your path where you want to record. I usually change this per um, video I'm trying to type, excuse me, per video I'm trying to record. I create a little, you know, subdirectory and then kind of put it in there. I use MP4, even though it says, uh, even though OBS was saying about this, nonsense down here. I tried MK, MKV on Mac OS, didn't work for me. I left this set to audio track one, even though I should be recording my system audio and microphone audio. Got that, didn't want to rescale. 40,000 works great here. Keep those B frames, go back up here. Keep all that 192. I don't think there is really a difference between 192 and 320, could be wrong. I haven't heard much difference as I've been listening to my own screencast. So I got that going. Output. Got the audio recording. Then go to your audio. Difference between these is the 24 frames per second. If you were making a movie, you'd want to go up to 48K. There's a couple YouTube videos about that. You can watch it on YouTube. Don't really need to go over that. Um, keep your mic at default. And this is where things get really... So I had more issues getting the audio setup than I did for the initial uh, screen resolutions and getting the screen recorded. I, granted, I spent maybe an hour or two jacking around with the screen and getting it how I wanted to look. But if you go into system preferences here, you want to keep this at your external microphone and then you can also go into this little doodad and you can start setting up these multiple input devices and you think you would set up your mic and you can set up this and what other I never had any luck with setting up these multiple input devices, multiple output devices. I've heard like this guy talks about how he set up his to record his microphone and his um, system audio. It didn't really work for me. I followed his steps. It didn't work. So back here, I got this. Um, get back here on my sound preferences. All right. So the big takeaway for me was that when I plug in my mic, it my headset mic, it says it's an external mic. If I were to unplug it, it would say internal microphone on the computer. Left that there. Left that to my headphones. You got both of those. Make sure this is put up all the way. You can see me talking and this going there. Click, make sure that's checked. And then output volume corresponds 
to what that is. All right, <clears throat> back to OBS, do, 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 all that. You change your settings, uh, hotkeys. I have a Command Shift R, start recording, stop recording. Same key, works great. Apply, okay. Um, install Soundflower, not too hard. Google Soundflower, set it up, the two channels. Uh, I guess the big takeaway is setting up your sources, set up the webcam. Webcam is under the video capture device. As you can see, it's already listed. Don't need to add it. Make sure you set visible. Um, if you don't want to record your webcam, you can click over this. Should stop. I don't know if it's going to do that real time while I'm recording. Do that. Uh, screen and mic. Screen and mic go together. That is going to be display capture. Screen and mic right there. And then the Soundflower 2 channel, after you have Soundflower installed, is going to be under audio input capture, not output capture. Whatever the reason, you want audio input capture. And you see, you got your Soundflower right there. Whatever reason, this doesn't show up. Never, you don't get real time updates with that. I don't know. Um, go to Advanced Audio Properties. You got this set up like that. That looks good. If you need to increase, if your audio is low, you can go in here, add a gain, leave, set that, name your gain. Anywhere from 1.0 to 2.0 usually helps you out. Um, let me actually, if you want to remove it, click remove, you can delete it, close. There you go. Um, let me double check. Heard me on the microphone. Hopefully you should be able to hear that on Spotify on the output. Cheers.